this Bensies. It's got to go. It, it literally, it's got to go. It doesn't work. It's not. It's not comfortable. And the way we designed it to pull out is an absolute faff. Right. To do this job properly, we're going to need wood. Right, we know we want it five of Neil's feet long and a bit wider. What are you doing? You just broke that. So the plan is the seat that comes out will have it'll have double the skin on it and then when we pull it out the underneath skin will push back onto the seats. It'd be easy for us. Could put it on hinges but we've learned from friends who have done it this way that having it on hinges is a bit of a pain. Why am I getting that look? What's that look of all that? Not. Can I say anything? Hey! Hey! So we're going for two 12 mils. That's the, um, <laughs> she's looking for something to attack me with here. That's the, um, the ply for the seating area, because we need to double up, like I said. So we're not going to, um, we're not going to, we're not going to hinge them or anything like that. They're just... What are you? You've got to see this, this is a look. Hi, I'm Neil. Like this. <laughs> well, there we go, there is the bench seat. Now, if we want to pull this bench seat out, this part, which always gets stuck, as you can see, like it always gets stuck. <laughs> right, hang on. There's bolts in the back. We keep it in with these. Wonderful. Right, once they're out and they're undone, then the front bit, it's not elegant, it's not pretty, it doesn't really work very good. It's just not very good. And then to get underneath, well, that that's, that's a faff in itself. I'm not even going to go there, because you've got to close this, and then this bit folds in, and there were so many ways of doing it wrong, that's what we did. But we're gonna fix that. We're gonna make it so it comes out nice and easy, goes in nice and easy, you can get underneath it nice and easy. There's no problem, there's no hassle, there's no grief. There's no faffing about. Right, that should be, this section should be free now. Yeah. For now, we can just sit there. Right, let's get this piece off. Let's get all the screws out because we'll use we'll use them. Right, now we've done that. This section. Well, well, fucking come off. Right, and then on top of this, there is a frame that is meant to lift up and down so we can get underneath into this area. Yeah, that done a load of shite. I mean, look at it. It's. I mean, come on, Neil. What were you even thinking? We didn't do this very well, then. Why? We just didn't. Do you remember when we done this in the middle of the night? It was the middle of the night. It was the middle of the night. You didn't let me eat. You didn't let me go to sleep. No. You were really mean. Mhm. Mm now everything is disconnected. I can take this back and board off. So that's the frame we are left with. We're gonna mount two sliders, one on there and one on there. And it mean that the whole seat will just slide forwards because there's gonna be another frame that goes on the outside of that. There's gonna be a metal frame, which I'm gonna make. <laughs> Don't worry, I've been practicing welding. Anyway, we'll get to that in a bit. I need to get rid of this one because the hinges need to come out there 
um, they need to come out there. They're the big sliders we're using. So this needs to come off. So I'm gonna cut this off, brace this one underneath there so there's a middle weight structure hold. Put them that one underneath there somewhere and then move this one to the inside there. So there's still a frame, but then when the furniture board goes on the front, it'll all tie in together and all be neat and tidy. So get rid of this one first and then we can mount the actual sliders onto there. Doesn't look like I've done a lot, but I've actually done a lot. So I've taken the front brace that was off and I've moved the legs back. So every single point has now got a brace because all the weight is going to be on here and all the weight is going to be on there. Got one of the um, rails on there and then it will pull out to about there, which is great because it doubles the size of the seat. So I'm just going to get the same one on that side now. kind of got away with myself and um, done stuff. I'll show you what I've done. So, I've got these battens on. They're temporary because they're going to be done in angle iron because the angle iron needs to go to the frame that's basically going to touch the floor. So they need to be welded on. Still waiting for that to come. So they're going to slide out to there. I've put the front piece back on because um, basically I need to cut out for things like that i know that that hole doesn't need to be as deep so on the new ply i can just cut it to there uh, i am thinking of putting another runner on here just to support the middle of the bed emma wants a big pull out drawer in there so strangely enough that's where our gas pipe comes to so we need to avoid that again if we'd have thought of these things when we were building the van it wouldn't be an issue move that onto the side I put a support across there so we can actually hold the other um, slider. Also, this front piece is going to come out when we finished it to about there. That's where it's going to sit. So it's going to be a lot deeper out than what it is now. I was going to make a new piece for the side here to meet out with that one. Then this is going to get cut across there. So, yeah. It'll look all right when I've done it. It's just we're waiting for furniture boards. What are you going to do when there's not as many jobs to do? Right, well, there was no jobs to do, then we changed the suspension. There was no jobs to do, and then the bastard blew up. There was no jobs to do, and then we decided to change the living room. There was no jobs to do, but yet there's still jobs to do. You make jobs. That's what you do. It's going to be quite a big draw, so... We're going to make the drawer, and um, to be fair, we're going to hold the drawer together. With these little boys, because they're really tough, they're sturdy, and yeah, they take a little corner off, but who cares? They work. So we got the drawer in, that is all in. We're still having to wait for one of them. So once one of them comes, then we can move the whole drawer out a little bit because it's gonna end up finishing round about here. But that gives Emma a nice big drawer underneath the bed that she can, you know, put whatever she wants into it. We also need bigger cushions as well because the cushions that we've got on are not gonna do, they're gonna be too small. Emma's looking for fabric and uh, we can just go and buy the foam. She's going to get fabric and then Neil gets his uh, sewing machine out. I'm not the greatest of welders, but I've got to be honest with you, I'm happy with this. So I've got them welded. They're all right. That one's all right. I mean, my welding is... What do you want? What do you want? My welder is, let's put it this way, my welding looks better after the grinder's been on it. But that's all right for now. Um, right now, I need 
that should fit in the van perfect but it needs three posts going off two to connect to the um, the runners and one in the middle for support but I can do them later why I've sprayed it I don't know but I have and I've used that stuff I'm literally just waiting for the um, spray paint to go off and then I can um, take it in the van and try it so the frame is gonna sit in it's probably gonna end up sitting there just like that because this furniture board here is gonna come to meet the frame but just for now to mark us up and you can see all three legs are touching the floor so Neil done his measurements right now we need another beam going in here so that when we pull this section out there's a beam going in that is holding the structure of the middle of the seat just like this one is there so we need to fit one there now my plan is to have this thinner one running inside the box section so i'm going to screw the box section onto the side there and then this piece will run freely inside it giving it support also going to be welded to the back of this so it's going to be welded to there do need to chop this down a bit it's going to be welded to there and then it will run in and out of there giving this middle section support so we need to mark this up put the beam on and weld it to there Right, so that is where that's probably overcut, but I'm not bothered because I'll mark it up later. This piece is going to go in there like that. So that needs welding on the back of here. But first of all, this section is going to run inside there, just like that. And then that is what's going to give it its strength. We'll mount this to the side of there so we know exactly how high it is. Right, so I've got that screwed on there. This piece will now slide in and out to meet the legs, and it will come out as far as we want it to. Then it will push right in to the very back. It's just a support. It's just so the middle has got something to support it. So I've marked it on there when I'm going to weld it, and that piece is going to get welded on there like that. Do you know what? I love welding. I'm, I'm awful at it. I've said this before. Terrible. I did weld that on there. And that was all in line with this piece here. Yeah, it was. But then when we put it on, I had to add this piece. Then I had to add them. So it wasn't in line at all. It was miles off. I mean, I don't know what. I don't know. But that bit now works. So when we pull this out, that gives the middle some strength i've gone and cut corners here because i'm sick of welding i'm not sick of welding i'm just sick of welding crap and i'm sick of welding stuff that doesn't work did the frame work perfect how i fluked that i don't know so where the ends meet the ends of the sliders i've cheated so i've done that i've just made a bracket and screwed it into the front and I screwed it and says, I know, I know, I know, I don't know, just, I know, but I don't care. So that now, as it is, the sliding bit, that's fine. I'm, I've got to admit, I am happy with that. It works for us fine. So that can go in for now. And then, yeah, put the top on now, put the other piece on, cushions on. Next thing is furniture board. The cushions have been stitched. I'll show you them in a minute. No, I'll just show you them now. So there we go, we've gone with a lighter color cushion. Yeah, well, fabric even. Um, we have got a thicker cushion and a lot thicker than the other ones. I'll tell you that much, the other ones are about that thick. So we've gained probably an inch and a half. Uh, they've got the, the spongy stuff on them as well. Um, but we've also gained near enough a foot that end and we've gained the old cushions used to come to there so we've gained that much which is seven six seven inches something like that 
the whole couch just feels like a couch. It doesn't feel like you're in a van. Um, it's just like beyond comfy. The more, at first I thought, oh, I've messed up here. I've gone and got too firm a foam. I've got it too thick. I've messed it all up. But the more I'm sitting on it, the more I'm like, this'll do me, donkey. There's an issue, there's a problem. That is the problem. This boy. We could not find anywhere for the mountain plate to go. The old one used to bolt on there. Now it used to bolt on the furniture board. Now obviously if that was a mountain plate, the leg needs to come up there. Now there's that much gap underneath where the leg goes. We couldn't mount it on here because that's not strong enough. We couldn't mount it on the side again because the couch oversteps the actual back plate and the front. So there is the mount for the table. It's meant to go flat on a wall. Ours needs stepping off a little bit. I know, I know, I know what you're thinking. Ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous. But it'll work. Right, there she is, getting bolted on. I think that'll work, don't you? Yeah. Well, that works, perfect. And the table will now go in the middle of the two of us when we're sitting down. Or it will go if you want to sit down there, or you want to sit in the corner, or you want to sit that way. That was a pain. Well, nothing's ever simple and straightforward with us two, is it? No, it's not. But we got there. It might be to some people's standards or likings, but... Not there, Val. It's done. Finally, it's done. So we put a thing out on Instagram asking did anyone have any um, furniture board and our friends at Motion Camper Vans, well, they sent us a message. We've got some of your furniture board in stock. Send us the sizes, we'll cut it out for you and we'll send it. Brilliant, and it was a lot cheaper than buying a whole sheet. We would have had so much furniture board left over, it would have been ridiculous. So obviously we had to take the old board off. We had to, you know, cut out the, the sizes and things like that. We've also put an edging on the front as well, but we'll show you that now and you can, um, you can have a look for yourself. So there it is. And the table works perfect as well. So the edging strip we added on was this piece here. And yeah, we did attach it with self tap and bolts, which are there and there and there purely because we knew that we'd be pulling it out with that part of the wood that there's, there's, we tried it with screws and it couldn't fly it off so we thought go through the front secure it properly um, and it doesn't bother us at all yeah two of the sockets are behind where the chair leg is but I'm kind of not bothered about that because it's hook up sockets the inverter one is freely accessible and more importantly Emma's got a drawer that was the important thing. So there's the sockets there. As you can see, one of them is behind the table leg, but the most important one, which is that one, which is off the inverter, can be used freely. And then we've got Emma's drawer, which, strangely enough, you can see she's filled with snacks and alcohol and more snacks. But that is perfect and the whole seat works absolutely perfect as well. This will extend out right to there. And then if we want it, like I said, we can extend it all the way out to there. And because it's on the runners, it works perfect. But the big test, the big test is the Emma test. So what are your thoughts? I need an Anna nap. Well, let's see. Okay. How comfy is the seat? Seat? Seat's very comfy. Right now, should we make it into a bed? You can. I can? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so basically, to make it into the bed, detach the table.
detach the leg and then because we put it on the runners it's as simple as pulling it forwards put the back down then we take the one that's on the end of our bed which is this one and then this one literally Food. If anyone wants to join you more than welcome to. Goes in there. As you can see, it's nice and comfortable. And my specs being stolen. Are you too comfy there? Yeah. Well, you know, I thought it's such a comfortable space, then um, I'm gonna take it. We can totally agree that that works better than the last one. It is, it's a beauty. She's all fully comfortable. Um, and next thing to do is put the actual van through the process of uplating it. So we can go into Europe and it means that we'll be legal and we'll be comfortable well you could say that's one happy lady i'm being summoned now oh mr paul's here we're here and we're down in oxford because we're going to vegan camp house a few more things to do to the van to make it heavier be as heavy as paul soon right going catch you later um have a good weekend, weekday, whatever you're doing, don't, whatever, isn't it, right? She's fighting with a cupboard in there, I best go and help her. Ta-ta!